Okay, so as you can see, this A onto B is the translation. And since it's two marked, we had to find the vector where it's translated, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 units to the left. So that's negative 8 and 2 units up, which is 2. So the next question is asking about A onto C. So we know that A onto C, the size of the shape changes, so it's an enlargement. So I'm using this ruler to find the point. To find the point where the shape enlarges. And so you can see that the line I'm drawing right now doesn't really intersect a point. So I'm going to draw again. This time I'm going to be much more accurate. And as you can see, it intersects at the point negative 4 and 0 exactly. So I'm going to write this down, enlargement at the point negative 4 and 0. And because this question is 3 marks, we have only given 2 points, we need to give 1 more, which is the scale factor. So with the scale factor, okay, to find the scale factor, what I did was, I did the image divided by the object so c over a okay, so you can see c is one over two one there two there it's one over two you can even do this with the other side with the other length so you can see that this is four units and this is two units and 2 over 4 simplifies to 1 over 2. And so our scale factor is 1 over 2. So the third question is asking about A to D. So we can see from this that it's a rotation. And it rotates 90 degrees clockwise. Or you could also say 270 degrees anti-clockwise. But it's more common to just write 90 degree clockwise. And because again this is 3 marks, we've only given 2 points, we need to find the third point which is the point where the the object rotates at. So usually I would use the origin to try find this. And when I rotates at the origin, this is the shape. It's easier to use a um a tracing paper for this question. But I didn't have one so I just made do. So when it's negative one, the point will be over here and over here, here, and it's not quite right yet. So to do this question, it's just a matter of trial and error. So I'm going to try at this point. Hopefully, this is the one. Um. Okay. So yep, this point lines up. So the rest of the point should line up as well okay so we found the point where the shape rotates and that is negative one wait sorry one to negative one one and negative one so the last question is drawing Enlarging a by the scale factor 2 at the point 7 to 3. So I plot the point 7 and 3. 
And now I'm just gonna multiply the units. So this, so since there's two units down and one unit left, so you multiply this by two, so that is four units down and two units to the left. Four, one, two. So that's our first point. Second point is two units down and three units to the left. So you write, you could write that as a vector, and you can times this vector by two, which is minus six and minus four. So now you just plot that point, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. There, okay. And for the last point. It's a vector of minus 3 and 2, so it times this by 2. So it will be minus 6 and 4. So, 4 units up and 6 units to the left. Now I'm just gonna use my ruler to draw this triangle. Second line and the third line. So you can check your answers by drawing, by connecting the points, and if it passes through the point seven three, then your answer is right. So how I checked my answer. Or you can check it by the scale factor. And this is relating to the second question. So see, we can see that it intersects at that point.